They say the truth ain't pretty But coming from that pretty mouth The truth is fitting Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my Into the Channel. Those that have been with me for a while, welcome back, welcome back. Thanks so much for your love, share, and subscribes. I truly love and appreciate y'all. Thanks so much for your support. Those that are new, welcome to my exotic and path Into the Channel. So we're going to go ahead and see what other zodiac sign I am, whoop, not yet, I am needing to tap in for the weekend. Holy Spirit, by the way, my guardian angel, St. Michael, those that welcome in the highest prayers of light, please create a shield of protection around me and my beautiful collective. Please protect me and my loved ones and their loved ones. Holy Spirit, and my page, block and blind any wickedness, witchcraft, and all, may all evil eyes go blind and all affiliated and all sent back all darkness, Holy Spirit, to this world. All right, so we're going to find out, Holy Spirit, what zodiac signs am I having to do next? Thanks so much for your patience, y'all. I was taking a few, a day off or so. I was just living life. I was being told to live my life. Y'all, just make sure you live your life, okay? No, don't matter what. Remember these haters, they don't want you to live your life. They want you to stay secluded. Do you, okay? Do what makes you happy, something about that. So we're going to go ahead and get with it. Holy Spirit, what? That was quick. Capricorn. All righty, Capricorn. Y'all are up. So we're going to do something different. I am being told to use my past life oracle deck. So we're going to find out, Capricorn, something regarding your past life. Okay, Capricorn. Holy Spirit. Capricorn, past life energy, past life messages. Or Capricorn, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Whoa. Thank you. So, Capricorn, you something regarding unrequited love, okay? So, you guys went through some sort of unrequited love in your past life, and I'm hearing it has come back around. Remember the old saying, history repeats itself? That is very true, but only you can stop a karmic cycle okay i have forgiveness capricorn so something regarding forgiveness that you guys are needing to do you guys are probably needing to forgive someone from your past regarding a unrequited love situation i'm gonna go ahead and also get some more insight regarding these cards bear with me one moment guys I hope everyone has had a beautiful weekend thus far. So we're going to go ahead and tap in. I wanted to get this insight. One moment, y'all. Bear with me. I'm almost there. Okay. Unrequited love. Capricorn. Unrequited love. This card indicates that you had a painful experience with unrequited love in a prior lifetime. The person you love deeply isn't share, didn't share, sorry, your feelings, or you may have, or you may have been betrayed or abandoned. This individual may be in your present life as well. These experiences of unrequited love may be negatively affecting you now. For example, you may be, you might distrust your lover's intentions or his or her's ability to make a monogamous commitment, okay? So just make sure you guys use your discernment. Unless vows are severed, they can affect you across time. Fortunately, vows are, e are very easy to undo. It's simply a matter of firming stating, I am willing to sever all vows that are blocking me in this lifetime. I ask that all aspects of painful vows, Capricorn, be now and forever undone in all directions of time for everyone concerned. By saying this either aloud or silently, you help to heal the bondage of the past and open yourself up to present day joy and abundance in all form. That's amazing, Capricorn. So remember, you do your shadow work, do your healing, let go, okay? Let go of any past resentment because it is holding you guys back. It is keeping your heart block, your heart chakra blocked, and it's keeping you blocked from your happiness from coming in. Because remember, we do have the forgiveness card, so it does come hand in hand. 
let's take a look on the forgiveness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forgiveness. The situation you're inquiring about will be healed or improved through your willingness to release old stored anger. See, well, like I said, resentment. You may not even be consciously aware that you've been holding on to resentment. Can't make this up, guys. Your anger may show up in subtle ways such as a high blood pressure, addictions, insomnia, and moodiness. Wouldn't it feel great to have a stable mood and more control over your health? Turn the page. <laughs> Forgiveness isn't the same as saying that the actions of others were justified or acceptable. Instead of forgiveness is a statement of self-empowerment. You choose to detoxify yourself of all stored anger and other negative energies. After all, when hanging on to anger, it only hurts you and not the only person and not the other person. Exactly. Remember, like I've always said, forgiveness. Forgive the person for yourself, not just for that person, okay? To heal the situation, be aware that the meditation and introspection are important practices that help you, okay? See that your anger is merely a transient feeling, like a dark cloud floating across the sky. Recognize that the sources come from a past life and let it go. Forgiveness, cathartic and profoundly healing. Free yourself from negative and harmful emotions. That is amazing. Very deep. Don't tell me to pull these cards. And I'm glad I did. Now we're going to go ahead. So remember, guys, there are some resentment, some past feelings. You guys are having to go ahead and do your shadow work, my lovelies. Do it because you guys are holding yourself back, okay, from your abundance. Now, if you guys have headphones, earphones, anything like that, please turn it down. I'm going to cleanse this energy with the bell. Now. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what messages for Capricorn do we have? What other energies do we have here for my beautiful collective Capi Caps? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Okay. I'll show you that later. So first thing we have here is fear. Sorry for the glam and lovelies. I realize that I am testing my... I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So let go of fear. Let go of anything that may be holding on to you. Remember, the, ener the enemy loves to cling on to fear. So you guys, make sure you let go of your fear, okay? Next, I have perseverance, Capricorn. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Keep up. Keep going, my lovelies, okay? Keep going. And like I have, if you guys are having to like set any like little sticky notes or any little affirmation cards throughout your home or when you wake up and you in the mirror, something about that, go ahead and do so. Something like that, little gestures like that. It's a cute little way of pick me up. Because like I have this little fortune cookie thing that came out and it says never quit, never quit. Perseverance, Capricorn, okay? Next, I have purpose it's all about your purpose something regarding your purpose your life purpose your life purpose your life path okay i know what i am here to do capricorn okay go within so you don't go without go ahead and meditate if you guys are needing to if you guys feel lost meditate pray ask the most high they'll show you next i have pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone it's okay to have some sort of pride, okay? Just don't go OD about it. Because <laughs> no one likes a narcissist, just saying. Okay, my love, there's nothing wrong with having some pride in yourself and taking pride in your work, taking pride in what you do, taking pride in your goals, your aspirations in life, okay? That is what you're needing to do. Keep going forward. At the bottom of the deck, I have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Like we see here with Buddha, that's laughing, that's smiling. So go ahead and just let your hair down. Wusa, have fun. And always look at the lighter side of life, okay? Because life is too short, loves. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse. Okay, with that energy. Holy Spirit. 
What messages do we have from my beautiful collective Capricorn? Please and thank you. Please block out any interference with the of witchcraft. May all evil eyes be blind. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Saint Michael, please protect me. Create a shield of protection as I tap in. See clarity from a beautiful collective Capricorn space and thank you. What messages do you have for Capricorn please and thank you? I'm told to keep shuffling. Bottom of the deck, we got the moon card. Alrighty, Capricorn. So we got some sort of secret or illusion, or it can also fear some sort of fear. Maybe you guys are holding on to your subconscious of something of fear. I did say fear. Fear card did come out earlier. Okay, it could also speak of illusions. All right, we do have Cancer. We do have Pisces here. Someone definitely may be dealing with a Pisces. Someone has Neptune, Pisces, and their Neptune, or Cancer. Strong water sign here. So Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with a water sign, a uh, Pisces or a Cancer, or maybe you have Pisces in Cancer somewhere as put it in your chart. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. Just keep it, it was 11.33 on the clock, nine times out of 10. When you guys come across this message, there is something here for you when you come across this video, okay? Now I do wanna keep in mind, this is a general collective reading for my beautiful Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. All cross watchers are welcome, just as long as you're about high vibrations. Okay, my last not that. Let's get with it. I do have here the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some sort of offer that is on its way. So this is could this could be what is hidden from you, Capricorn. Someone is wanting to come in uh, and give you some sort of practical offer. Maybe you guys are fearing some sort of offer that is that may be on its way and you guys may know about it. Side note, because as soon as I said that, I do have the high priestess in the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn, Holy Spirit. Whoever it is, it's a lot of work. They're putting in a lot of work here with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So we got strong Virgo here with these with the working Pentacles, okay? So someone definitely has a Virgo sun. Maybe you guys do. Someone is putting in work. Eight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you for Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Thank you. We're trying someone. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone is working hard behind the scenes. It is. It has been hidden from you. It has been kept from you. They have been maliciously working hard in trying to create some sort of imbalance towards you. Because I do have the Temperance card in reverse. Someone is trying to create some sort of disunion, discord in your union, in your life. At the bottom of the deck, whomever it is, I do have judgment. So someone is highly under judgment right now as we speak collective, okay? Someone definitely has Libra in their Pluto. I did just do Libra. So you guys may want to go ahead and check out Libra's reading as well. This may have something to do with it. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. Remember to use your discernment. So whoever this is that has been working behind the scenes, they think that they haven't been caught. But guess what? We've seen you. God sees everything. The Most High sees everything. And the spiritual world does too. So I don't know what the heck is this person thinking. Temperance card in reverse with the judgment. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Temperance card with the judgment. Temperance card in reverse with the judgment. Holy Spirit. And that just went out. One moment. Copy cap so I go get that card that just fell. One moment. I'm back, my ladies. The card that fell out was the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So someone, I'm getting a gold digger vibe. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that is my gold digger. I tend to, that's what I feel intuitive. That is the gold digger 
in the deck, okay? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So whomever it is, this is a strong gold digger that has been working behind the scenes, thinking that they have cloaked themselves. They have been working very hard to create imbalances and discord towards your life. This person is under heavy judgment right now as we speak. Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn, Holy Spirit, peace and thank you. This person is strong earth sign. It could be another Virgo, another Capricorn, or a Taurus. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles because this person has been working behind the scenes in cahoots, falling right under the moon card. This is, I'm getting strong coven vibes. Capricorn, this person also has Capricorn in their chart. They've been trying to create obstacles, illusions. This is a coven. They have been trying to work behind the scenes regarding a divine union Capricorn with the two of cups. Justice is here. Justice is being served at this time. I'm hearing someone has called, called justice on a situation. Capricorn, maybe you all have called upon justice on a certain situation. I'm hearing your prayers have been heard. Whatever this person will now reap what they have sown, and it is justified. It is justice. Your divine union is justified. It is justice. You will have your divine union no matter what. Side note. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of earth sign here. You guys, Capricorn is maybe your energy. You may be dealing with another fellow earth sign. Or whoever it is that has been attacking you behind the scenes has a, has are somewhere highly aspected in their chart. Seven of Pentacles. This is, could be another. This could be a Taurus. Someone has a Taurus in their Saturn. Seven of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. You got your King of Pentacles, Capricorn. Your counterparts here, King of Pentacles. Clarify this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. This person is abundant, they're wealthy, very disciplined individual. There's conflict and chaos and competition with the Five of Swords. This Gold Digger energy because the Five of Swords falls right under the Nine of Pentacles. So I have the Nine of Pentacles and right under that I have the Five of Swords. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this Gold Digger energy has been trying to compete behind the scenes regarding a King of Pentacles energy. A boss. Five of Swords, all because now they're being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Five five. That's an overall message. I keep getting five five. I like I said, I did just do Libra's reading. It's currently being uploaded as we speak. Yeah, I'll go check up Libra's reading as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I do have Libra here with the justice. So I don't know what you guys are doing, what y'all got yourself into. Use your discernment, leave behind what does not, but there is something here that may be corresponding with Libra. Justice um, is just overall energy. Justice is just being currently served overall. That is the energy I am getting for all of these zodiacs right now. Heavy justice, heavy judgment is being, is happening right now. Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yep. Trying to come back at you, trying to give you BS, trying to send you all this BS and competition and chaos, but you guys are divinely protected, Capricorn, with the Seven of Wands. Confirmation with my kitty. <laughs> seven of Wands for Capricorn, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Seven of Wands. Exactly, your six of pentacles, your equal give and take, equal reciprocity is protected. You are divinely protected. Your equal reciprocity, your six of pentacles is divinely protected by God, by the most high, by the universe, your angels, your ancestors. 
So whoever it is, this gold digger energy that has been trying to come back and trying to come for you and trying to come for yours behind the scenes, guess what? It's not working. Now they're under judgment for that. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you, which is leaving this person at the Eight of Swords energy. This person right now is going through it in their mind. Mental prison, Eight of Swords. Getting caught up. This is Eight of Swords energy. It keeps going on. It keeps showing up for my overall collective as well. Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit, peace and thank you. This person is at the Eight of Swords regarding because no matter what they do, they see that you are divinely protected and so is your Six of Pentacles. This person is so upset that no matter what they do, whatever they throw at you, you are still going to get your equal give and take because that is ordained by God. Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit, peace and thank you. And I'm going to just drop the mic right there because you guys are the what what? You guys are the star. Okay, you guys may have Aquarius somewhere highly aspected in your chart. You guys are meant to be a star. You are a meant to be whoever I am talking to. The specific Capricorn, you are meant to be a star, meant to be in the limelight. And this person has tried to send you so many things, obstacles and in, in, in trials and tribulations to keep you stuck and stagnant. But I am hearing you are free. Better go thank God the most high. I'm going to leave that there because that is beautiful energy. And I'm going to go do something different. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the money management. Find out what is the overall energy regarding money and business. Okay. Something a little different. That is beautiful energy, guys. Whatever it is that you guys are contemplating and doing, being, whether it be an artist or a project or something, go for it. Look at that confirmation. Okay. OMG. I can't make it up. Didn't I say something of a project or some sort of idea? Ding! Light bulb, idea, creativity was the first thing that came out. I can't make this up, guys. My cards don't lie. I never lie. I can't. You guys are going to get new assets. I said you guys are supposed to be in the public eye. Something big and huge is coming towards you, Capricorn. Keep it up, my loves. Keep up those vibes. And, okay? Something about growth. Okay? So for some of you guys that may be, some of y'all I'm hearing with the baby hand, some of y'all may be expecting in your family. You may be growing your family. Okay? You guys are going to be experiencing growth in every aspect of your life. I said competition, so I said it. Someone has been secretly competing behind the scenes. Interview, so they may be having an interview maybe coming up, something regarding a job, something regarding your creativity. You guys are probably going to be able to, I'm um, hearing, you guys are going to be able to, i hearing poach. Someone's going to be able to approach you. You guys are going to be able to poach. You guys are going to be able to, Show your idea, okay? And sell your idea interview. Like, I'm getting Shark Tank vibes, something about that. Maybe some of you guys may be an inventor. There's someone that is overspending, okay? So if some of you guys have been overspending, I mean, I'm being told to let you guys know to stop it, okay? Because I'm getting overspending and stop in spending. Capricorn, I love y'all. I know you guys, Capricorns, in the zodiac sign, you guys rule the 3D, okay? But guess what? Try to take it down the notch with the spending, okay? So you guys are going to need credit repair. So something regarding you guys are overspending regarding credit card. I'm hearing credit card debt. Maybe some of y'all are into or needing to go see a credit card repair person, Okay. And work from home. Some of you guys are probably contemplating in it and interview. So you guys may be getting a new job and you guys may be getting a new job to be able to work from home. That is beautiful. Okay, so stop overspending, lovelies. Keep your money keep your money. Get a I'm hearing get a budget financial advisor as well. Okay. Now, side note, we're gonna go ahead and tap into situation love oracle deck. 
Holy Spirit, by the way, my guardian angels, what messages do we have for my beautiful Capricorns? Beautiful Capy Caps. What messages do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you? What messages do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you? So as I cut the deck, I have Addiction and I have Soulmate. So you guys probably cut off an Addiction, someone that was who you thought was your soulmate, a karmic soulmate that was addicted to your energy. That's what I'm being told also. Something about that. All right. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, I have mirror. Mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, and inner wounds. So you guys, I'm getting strong twin flame, okay? Because true divine twin flames do tend to mirror each other, okay? What else for Capricorn? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have the golden mirror. Oh my gosh, mirror again. Narcissist. I did say about something about narcissists. So maybe you guys had let go of a toxic narcissist that was addicted to your energy. Something about that. Someone that tends to love bomb, love bombing, self-absorbed, and one-sided. Maybe you guys had mirrored this in a past relationship because i did get unrequited love so maybe you guys have we're dealing with an unrequited love situation in a narcissistic relationship that's what i'm being told what else holy spirit please and thank you for capricorn i have ship see i pick up this energy something i said about cutting ties letting something go Cutting ties, moving on, receiving, receive what you need, progression and arriving. So you guys have what? You let go of what no longer served you in order for your new miracles and abundance to come in. Your ships are coming in is what I'm getting with that. One more Holy Spirit, please and thank you for Capricorn. One more for Capricorn, thank you. And I have, last but not least, I have wedding rings. Wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, and devotion. Exactly. Like I said, twin flame and or soulmate union is coming in. Like I said, your ships are coming in because you guys let go and you severed the soul ties with a karmic twin flame or a karmic soulmate. And now your true divine Feminine or masculine is coming in. That is what I am being told. Okay. So now I am going to go ahead and close out the message with a universe has my back oracle. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my beautiful collective Capricorn? Please and thank you. Don't forget to hit that like button, my lovelies. I truly love and appreciate your support. What messages do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you. Okay, I got two, I'll take it. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Exactly. Keep being you, keep speaking and living in your truth because true authenticity is the best and no one can compare and compete with that. Okay, lovelies? I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive the fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. That is beautiful. Exactly. That's so funny. Fear came out again. So like I said, do your inner work. Do your healing. Do your shadow work, my lovelies. Let go of that fear. Pray of Pray on it like God, the universe, the most high, the highest white of energy guide you, okay? Because they are here for you. Keep up that high vibration and keep up that crown. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Till the next time. Take care.